Attorneys for convicted killer and rapist Donald Smith want him to get a new trial. This comes just weeks after a jury in Jacksonville recommended Smith get the death penalty for the brutal murder of eight-year-old Cherish Periwinkle. On your side's Ann Schindler has been following this case from the beginning, and she has the new details tonight. It was one of the most emotional moments of the trial. I'm sorry, I have to take a break. Can I just have like five minutes? Medical examiner Valerie Rao overcome while testifying about Cherish Periwinkle's injuries. Now, Donald Smith's attorneys say that moment justifies a retrial. This among the universe of homicides is clearly one of the most horrific. Criminal defense attorney Curtis Fallgatter says the defense motion includes three interesting claims, including the medical examiner's breakdown. You have an experienced medical examiner who's done thousands of autopsies who should be hardened to these types of photographs who herself breaks down in front of the jury. Donald Smith's attorneys say Judge Mallory Cooper also made a mistake when she allowed testimony about a bundle of ropes Smith placed into the shopping cart at Walmart before kidnapping Cherish. Why? If it wasn't used, isn't that prejudicial? Isn't it speculation? The motion also cites something prosecutor Melissa Nelson said during her opening statement. When defense attorney Julie Schlax objected to it at the time, the motion notes, Nelson simply repeated it louder. Every mother's darkest nightmare became rain periwinkles reality. Fallgutter says that could be seen as a violation of what's known as the golden rule. You are not supposed to try to put the jurors in the position of a victim. It's a good defense strategy to put all of those issues in writing, Fallgutter says, but he doubts any of them merit a new trial. This is just a graphic way of describing what happened to this poor young girl. Uh, it's a mother's worst nightmare to have your daughter kidnapped, molested, and murdered. Uh, that's the truth. Is that the same as violating the golden rule? You know, that's going to be the argument. Probably won't win. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.